channel and today we are going to be discussing how to reach out to a fashion PR agency or a brand when you need to loan or get clothes from them for a shoot. Now when you start off in styling or you're at the beginning stages or you're being a fashion assistant and you're reaching out to these brands you don't know if they're going to respond to you you're not sure what to say sometimes it's a lot easier to reach out to brand if you have a pull letter or a commissioning letter from the publication you're working for but if you don't have those things hopefully this video can kind of just guide you through that process a bit better starting off with your subject matter whenever you are writing an email to a PR agency it is extremely important that you title the subject matter correctly. Because if you don't, and you just send things like stylist request, the brand isn't gonna know who it is, what it's for, they may not even open it because they get so many requests through. You need to be very specific. So what I like to do is I like to write my title in the subject matter all in capitals. So for example, I might put the name of the brand first, then I will put space and then I will put a little bar or a time sign then I will put styling request then I'll put another space and a time sign and then I will put the show it's for so I do that for every single brand that I reach out to and I change the name of the brand at the start of the subject matter and the reason why I title it like that is because whenever I get responses through I know exactly which brand it is so I can just say yep I'm gonna click on that one or I'm gonna click on that one just that from my email list I can see straight away which brand has responded and which brand hasn't. What I like to do is I start off by saying, hi there, I hope you are well. If you know the person's name or you know the person you're trying to contact, you can say, for example, hi Charlotte or hi Chloe. Me personally, I don't like to start off with saying things like to whom it may concern because it just kind of comes across a bit too formal. And I feel like when you're reaching out to a PR agency, it's okay to be friendly in my opinion. So I start off by saying, hi there, I hope you are well. My name is Shara Johnson and I am a freelance fashion stylist. If you've never been in contact with this PR company before, it's very important that you distinguish who you are and what you do straight away. I put a link from my name to my website or portfolio so that they can see that I am a legitimate stylist and they know who I am and that they can kind of just check me out and just see that I'm not just trying to pull a fast one and get clothes from them. And then I go on to say what job I am doing, what the job entails, which talent is involved and what show it's for. And then what I do is I link the name of the show within the email to an episode of the show so that they can see how their clothes are going to be worn and what kind of content that their brand is going to be associated with. Then I will go on to link the name of the talent to the talent's socials. The reason you need to do that is because the brand is then gonna be able to see how many followers the talent has, how much engagement that they're getting, with their audience and that always works in favour of a PR company because they can see that their clothes will get a lot of exposure. I then go on to say something like we are huge fans of the brand and we wanted to inquire into the possibility of loaning or gifting clothes for the talent wardrobe for the show or the series. It is very important that you state what kind of borrowing you want to do from the brand. Do you want to loan from the brand or do you want gifting from the brand? I always like to present two options to the brand because then they can kind of go with whichever one that they feel comfortable with. Some brands might gift you clothing and some brands may only want to loan you clothing. I then go on to say, this would be great if we could do this and we will provide you in exchange with social media posts or images of our client wearing the brand. It is imperative that the brand feels as if they are getting something out of you loaning or gifting clothes from them. Otherwise, it feels like a one-sided partnership. And what you wanna do is if you want to still collaborate with this brand in the future, you want to make sure that both parties are happy and getting something out of it. And then if they gift you those clothes, it is very important that you follow up and do what you said you are going to do. So if you have said, I would like to borrow these clothes and they will be featured in this music video or I can get social media posts for it or I can get 
the talent to tag the brand on their social media, it is very important that you follow up with those things. So providing the brand with images, sending them links to what the talent has posted, that way it builds up a rapport and then you can borrow from that same brand in the future. It is also important not to overpromise what you can get the client to do or what they will wear when you are speaking to a brand or PR agency. Choose your words very carefully. Avoid phrases like, I will make sure my client tags the brand or your brand will be worn or featured in the show. The reason being is if you are styling a client and you have pulled clothes from 15 different brands, the client may only need to wear one of these outfits or at the fitting the clothes may not give you or the client the desired look that they were hoping for. The client may change their mind and want to wear something else or the client may forget to tag the brand. There are a variety of reasons why you should not overpromise to a PR. To avoid PRs or brands feeling like you've overpromised and underdelivered, I prefer to use phrases like I would like to have these items as options for my client's wardrobe or I will advise my client to tag the brand across so their social media. That way it is clear to the brand that there is no guarantee that the items will be worn. Those phrases will cover your back and the client's back as well. After that, I then go on to say, it would be great if we can start this conversation as soon as possible if this is of interest, as the fitting I have with the talent is coming up soon. I would love to receive these items by such and such a date. It is very important that you date when you need the items by and when you will be returning them to the brand because if you kind of just leave it open it kind of makes the brand feel like they may not know when they're going to get it back and a lot of brands like it when you are quite decisive some brands might turn around and say hold on to them for as long as you like but some brands may want you to be very specific especially if you're emailing emerging designers you may need to tailor it a bit more because emerging designers get quite protective over their clothes because they may have only made one or two samples of something and they may only have those particular samples to send out to other people. I then end the email by saying many thanks for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. Best, Shara. Um, I don't usually put my full last name just because I've already said my full name in the email. I just end it with Shara. Again, it just kind of makes it feel a bit more friendly and informal. What I also do is I also attached images of the talent in with the email so that they can see who the talent I am working with is you've sent the email you're really excited and you're waiting for a response sometimes you might get an email back from the brand within a couple of hours or the next day which is great and in other cases you may not get a response from the PR agency at all and I usually find that I get a response from a lot of agencies on the second email that I send to them so how do you follow up on an email that you sent and it can be quite daunting again because you don't want really to feel like you're bothering the brand you don't want really to feel like you're being irritating sometimes you have to put all of that to the side and just reach out again if you want to get the clothes that you want what I usually do to follow up with an email is I usually give it like one or two days that's if I've got time though I say hi there just following up from my email yesterday regarding loaning clothes for the show such and such for the talent such and such. Please see the original email attached below. I look forward to hearing from you. Best wishes, Shara. And then I just leave it there. Usually then you start to get a response from the brand. It's your way of giving the brand a little nudge without coming across as overly zealous or just being very pushy. If the brand then decides to respond to you, then that is absolutely great. But then what do you do if the brand again decides not to respond or for whatever for whatever reason they can't respond then I would say pick up the phone and if there's a number to contact them on just call them and I know it can be quite daunting because as Millennials or Gen Zers, our world is technology we contact via email social media whatsapp all of that and all of that is great but sometimes you just need to pick up the phone and call the PR agency and you will find that more often than not they're not ignoring you on purpose people are just very busy they've got lots of stuff to do your email might have just been missed by one of the fashion team and very often they'll be like email the email direct to my email address instead of the generic one and I'll get that sorted for you also it's a good way to kind of build up a rapport with someone via the phone it's a lot harder for someone to say no to you on the phone 
than it is over um, an email and you might actually find out more information being on the phone with someone from the PR agency than you would via email. For example, I remember I was reaching out for, I wanted clothes for a show from the brand Coast. But after sending two emails, I decided to call the PR company and just say, hi, um, it's Shara here, stylist for such and such. I was just wondering if anybody had picked up my emails regarding uh, borrowing clothes from Coast. And then they said, oh, it's good to hear from you, Shara. We don't actually manage Coast anymore. They're actually managed by a different company. And I said, okay, great. Do you have the number or the email address for the person that actually deals with Coast now? So I kind of just had a little research for their details, found the new details for Coast, rang them, and then the person was like, oh yeah, no problem, Shara, you can have clothes for this person. We actually also manage the brand Cameron Millen now as well. And that is perfect because then I was actually able to borrow from two brands instead of one. And all of that came from me just picking up the phone and asking had anybody picked up an email from me and also get on your Googles and do a bit of research about which PR or which company handles this brand Google is your friend you can also use things like modem online and press sharp if you're smart you can kind of figure out ways to get somebody's email address like if you know someone's name ends in arcadia.co.uk if you do your Googles and you find out who is the PR officer for say Topshop and you find out the person's first and last name I know that all I need to do is put the person's first name, put a dot, put their last name and put at arcadia.co.uk and then I've got their email address and it might work, it may not work but it might work I would also say if you can, where possible, try and set up a coffee chat with people. It's not always possible, some people might completely ignore you, but some people might take you upon the offer of having a coffee chat and I say that because last year I was actually putting clothes for a show that I was doing and one of the people managing the brand that I was pulling from said to me, Shara would you like to come for a coffee chat with me? It would be great to sit down and kind of get to know you a little bit more and I was actually quite busy at the time but I thought do you know what let me make time and go to this coffee chat so I get to the coffee chat and she said I decided to bring along uh, my colleague because she actually manages this other brand that we thought you might be interested in and by the end of that coffee chat instead of just put, being able to pull from the one brand they actually let me pull from four of the other brands that they were managing at the time and they said to me you can hang on to the clothes until the end of the series and that was absolutely perfect and that was just because I had sat with them for half an hour and built a rapport and they knew that I was credible in what I was doing and you also have to remember that people buy people so when you talk on the phone to someone or when you meet someone face to face it's that chance to build that rapport with them you can do that via email but I do feel like that takes a bit longer sometimes and finally if you have exhausted all of those options and none of those seem to work put that email to the brand to one side and move on. Especially if you have quite a quick turnaround for a shoot and you're not getting any response for a brand, you kind of just need to have a backup option for a different brand and just keep it moving. You can't have all your eggs in one basket with one brand, especially if they've already lent close to someone else or if they're not interested in lending close to you, let it go and keep it moving. Now, when you come to try and work with this brand, after you've reached out to them the first time and everything's gone well, they've lent you the clothes. After that, your approach with them can be a little bit more relaxed. It just takes you kind of breaking that initial ice of people getting to know you and seeing what your work is like and proving yourself for people to trust you a bit more. And that all just comes with time and experience. So guys, we are at the end of my video. I hope you've had some useful tips from me on how to reach out to a PR agency, and if you have any questions that you would like me to answer regarding this, please reach out to me and I will see you in the next video.